Head of Service, former Director General Dr. Jen Ruth Acheng, is now the supervisor of the entire health sector, bearing the responsibility of the health of the people of Uganda. The overjoyed minister, however, takes on the sector with a lot of demands from different sections of the ministry. In an exclusive interview with UBC TV, Dr. Cheng said the first 100 days of her term in office, five key issues are to be tackled. They include one, addressing the human resource gap, strengthening monitoring and evaluation through supportive supervision, addressing communicable and non-communicable disease control and epidemics, addressing reporting structures and governance issues, harmonizing communication to the public with a clear strategy to ensure messages go in a more streamlined manner. According to the new Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Ruth Acheng, a new structure within the ministry that brings on board new departments has already been approved. This will ensure that people with certain skills are placed where they can perform best for better results. New health workers are to be recruited. So we are going to address the issue of recruitment and to fill in the establishment. We are going to address the issue of contract staff. Dr. Cheng takes on the matter at a time when access to health care, especially in hard to reach areas, is still wanting. Many health center tools, threes and fours, even some hospitals, are currently not able to operate as required, with some lower facilities overloaded. Districts like Ruengo, Kalangala, Sembabule, Amdat, among others, have health centers that are yet to be upgraded to hospital status. Following this hospital survey, we shall address the issue of the districts that completely do not have hospitals because in our manifesto we are supposed to have a hospital in every district. Although Minister Cheng admits that stealing government drugs remains a challenge, she is optimistic that the minister will tighten the grip through the supportive supervision. So that when we go out to the facility, you don't only look at management issues, you look at the facility in a holistic manner. And then you give feedback to the facility and feedback to the district on what areas need to be addressed. Acheng says a strategy about addressing communicable and non-communicable disease control and epidemics has also been drawn to ensure timely detection and response. We are going ahead to complete the strategy on how we respond to this issue and incorporate it into our communication uh, very clearly on health promotion and education so that the population start working on the preventive aspect. In Uganda, mild drug resistant tuberculosis cases is an emerging challenge. We raise its burden zero at 14% and treatment cases are 12%. This translates into an estimated 1,040 MDRTB cases annually. The health ministry up to now has not been able to provide food required for the well-being of MDRTB patients, causing fear about the long-term fate of the patients. When a regional referral hospital is done with procuring the, the service provider, then funds will be sent to them so that they pay the service providers directly and food is provided to the patients with MDR and TB. And so it has been ongoing and very soon the patients will be getting their food. The minister, assisted by State Minister for Health in charge of general duties, Saro Pendi, and Dr. Joyce Moriko, who is in charge of primary health care, will certainly have an uphill task to ensure that the health system is up and running. Bernard Iga, UBC, in Kampala. <laughs> okay.